and hifzul mumtalakat. Finally, protection of what you own. Protection of what you own. Even in many countries across the globe, if a person was to commit larceny, stealing, theft of your possessions, you are entitled to some form of recompensation. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, in his time, when he was Khalifa Caliphate, up to 634 to 644, I said, was Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu's time, Sayyidina Usman, 644 to 656, from 656 to 661. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. In that time, Amirul Mu'mineen is Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, but on one occasion his armor was stolen. And it was stolen by a Jewish individual. Sayyidina Ali is Amirul Mu'mineen. He saw him in the marketplace. He said, This is my armor. Give it to me. He said, No, this is mine. Now we have a dispute. Who is the legal owner of this? Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu claims it's mine. The Jewish individual claims it's his. Further, the Jewish individual says, if you wish to claim it, either you produce some witnesses or take me to court. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Amirul Mu'mineen is taking his case for an armor and it's being registered at the court in Medina al Munawwara. At that time, the judge, the chief judge by that time, was Qazi Shureh. Qazi Shureh was an amazing legal mind, absolutely amazing. To talk about Qazi Shureh would require a lecture in itself. But he was the a judge since the time of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And if Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu fixed you as a judge, then you were something. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu was taking his case to Qazi Shureh. He is Amirul Mu'mineen. He is standing in the witness box. Allahu Akbar. And the case is made. What is the case here? He has taken my armor. The rule in Islam is If you're a claimant of something, provide the witness. Provide the witness. Because the person against whom the allegation is being leveled is saying, ah, it's mine. Ali radiallahu ta'ala has asked for two witnesses. Two witnesses. Do you have two witnesses? I have two witnesses. By the way, as for witnesses in Islam, there's a whole section, Kitabu Shahadat. Sometimes one witness will be enough. Sometimes two witnesses will be enough. Certain scenarios, you will have three witnesses. Certain scenarios, four witnesses are required. On certain occasions, you will be need to go around the neighborhood up to 50 people. All these scenarios we have in hadith today. Ali radiallahu ta'ala says, I have two witnesses. So who are your witnesses? One is my freed slave, Kumbur. So bring him forward. What is your testimony? Kumbur testified. I used to work in the house of Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. I am his freed slave now. This is his armor. I was a regular in his place. I knew it belonged to him. Okay, his testimony is accepted. Who is your second witness? Second witness is my son, Sayyiduna Hassan radiallahu ta'ala. Here we come into legal wranglings. Differences of legal understandings. Can a son be a witness in a court of law or not? 
According to Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the son could testify in his favor that would not be seen as being prejudice or in favoring Sayyidina Ali. Qazi Shureh said, no. In my court, that rule doesn't apply. In my view, a son cannot testify in favor of his father. Because son and father relationship, there will always be this idea in the mind that the son is favoring the father. I can't accept it. Who's in the witness box? Sayyidina Ali. And who's the judge? Qazi Shureh. So do you have another witness? I don't have another witness. Case thrown out. On what grounds? A technicality. A technicality. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala. Who would not trust Sayyidina Ali radiallahu Who would not trust? But on one legal technicality, it was the decision of the court not to accept the testimony of the son. Case dismissed, Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, without any wrinkles on his face, exited the, the place of the court and went away. Because the process that Islam had established and was in practice was accepted. If something is yours, it's protected. By law, it's protected. This is why if somebody is caught stealing, they will be taken to court. But on this occasion, the case was thrown out. The Jewish individual, as soon as they walked up to the court, saw Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu realized there is no blemish on his face. He is not disturbed. And he says, Ali radiallahu ta'ala, and ho, you know this armor is yours. You know this armor is yours. Here you are, take it. I am really impressed by what I saw today. Ali radiallahu ta'ala, and turned around and said, No, I gift it to you now. Allahu Akbar. Upon this, the Jewish individual, Ashadu Allah, ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasul. The value system, I've only briefly touched upon it.